Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and today I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and build your own auto raffle ticket app using the combination of forms, Power Apps, and Flow. So uh, let me go through a scenario how things were done in the past, and then I'll switch over to how we were able to make an improvement. So in the past, um, this is how it was. There was an original speaker uh, survey form. It was printed out, handed over to all the attendees, and then after that, um, people would go ahead and fill it out handed over to uh, all the raffle ticket people and then they actually got handed over a raffle ticket um, and that's basically how it was done it was a really manual process uh, one of the things we were able to do was actually eliminate that paper survey form altogether and we were able to leverage uh, forms now forms worked really well uh, we were able to get rid of printing out these speaker surveys altogether mother earth uh, gave us a big high five but then there was still a little bit of manual process left over there because here's what was actually going on. Um, the attendees went ahead and you know attended the sessions. Uh, they would go ahead and fill out that form. Uh, depending on the number of sessions, there would be a whole bunch of Excel spreadsheets where the form goes ahead and saves its data. Uh, when they came to get their raffle ticket, the people who were uh, handling the raffle tickets would actually have to go through each and every one of those Excel spreadsheets. Um, in the process, they actually they manually created their own master spreadsheet just to keep track of how many people have already filled out the form and things like that. And then after they were able to validate, they would hand over that raffle ticket. And then the raffle ticket at the end was actually used to get the prizes. So there was still this little manual process in, in there, even though we eliminated the paper survey forms altogether, it was still this manual process and, and a lot of it had to do with validating. Um, so what now with the combination of Power Apps and Flow, uh, we can go ahead and take these two little sections completely out of the equation um, and here's what the improvement was. So the initial steps remains the same. Uh, the attendees still go ahead and attend the sessions and they fill out the surveys and depending on how many uh, sessions there are, there will be that many uh, forms. But what happens is now, thanks to flow, every time a form is filled, tied to that form is a flow which will go ahead and take that new entry and save it to that master Excel spreadsheet. This was something that was done manually in the past. Now it has been automated. So now the next step was we even eliminated the whole idea of giving out the raffle tickets. Um, now when a person fills out the survey, uh, it is automatically saved in this one master Excel spreadsheet over here, thanks to flow. And then when the time comes to hand off the raffle tickets, we don't even use a raffle number. We just call out a primary ID or something which is associated to that user. Uh, most of the time, that's just an email address, but you guys could put something in your form to make it as a primary one. But email address works best in this scenario. And so then when that happens, uh, the time to give out these um, prizes and all these gifts that come out, uh, the attendee just uses this uh, power apps that I'll be demonstrating to you and then the power apps uses the magic flow to go ahead and get a random number or a random name and then the prizes are given out. So as you can see two major steps which are time consuming has completely been eliminated from the process thanks to the combination of forms, power apps and flow. So now that you've seen or understood what's happening and the change that's been made, let me go ahead and demonstrate that to you. So here's an example of the uh, Microsoft Forms that I was talking about. Um, this is something that we had used for our uh, SharePoint sh Saturday here in Charlotte, North Carolina. So here's the form, and uh, I'll go ahead and fill it out so you can actually take a look at it. Um, and say, uh, James uh, Norman, and James dot Norman at Contoso.com. See which session did he attend? He attended Adam Oak session and strongly agree that everything was great. Just fill up the form. It says Adam did an outstanding job uh, talking about flow. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. So now that the form has filled, there's a flow that's attached to that form and it goes ahead and takes that new entry that I just put in and saves it to that master Excel spreadsheet. So let's go take a look at that spreadsheet. Um, as I had said before, that spreadsheet is sitting in my OneDrive over here and I just called that a speaker survey. As you can see, it just got updated a few seconds ago. So now when I go ahead and open that, we can actually see that new entry. 
I should be able to scroll all the way to the bottom so you can see that new entry that came in. There's a lot of items over here. Okay, so that's the one. You can see the new entry I put in, James Norman. He did go ahead and compliment over there, and he put in some comments as well. So that's the entry that I put in. It was for that one Microsoft form. The flow kicked off, and I made an entry over here. But while I'm here, I want to talk about this one key column that I've also added, and that's this one. It's called Already Selected. Um, in this Already Selected column, I will update it every time a row is randomly picked. That row will then be updated This updated in this column area, and it'll just say yes. The reason I want that column to be updated so that it doesn't get selected again in the future. And it's just like the raffle ticket uh, ideology, right? Once the raffle ticket is selected, you basically take that and then go ahead and make sure that it doesn't get used again. So in the same context over here, once this row has already been selected, I want to update it so that the next time it doesn't get called. So now go. let's go and take a look at the flows, which goes ahead and does all the magic in the background. Uh, in fact, um, yeah, so once we do that, um, there is the first flow. The first flow over here, it is the one that goes ahead and gets that response, which is put in in the survey, and goes ahead and copies that one, uh, one list item. So it's actually, if you refresh that over here, you should just see that new entry that I put in. And there it is. That's the one that I just put in over here. And what it does is, this entry is pretty, I mean, this flow is really simple. Uh, anytime a new response has been submitted, it basically goes and makes sure that it cat captures that response, and it goes ahead and adds this entry to that master Excel spreadsheet that I just showed you. So this flow is the fairly easier part. Um, now let's go ahead and take a look at the other flow. Um, in fact, before I look at the other flow, let me demonstrate to you how the app itself works, and then it'll make more sense to see the other flow. So in the Power App, here is the app um, that we've built, or that I've built, uh, for our, uh, um, as a proof of concept. So once the app opens up, this app is tied to that master Excel spreadsheet. And now you can simply just click on click to generate, and it will start giving you the winners right over here. Now when I'm clicking it over here, um, there's actually, this app is triggering the, and I know why it's doing that, it's telling me because I have that Excel spreadsheet open. That's why. So let me go ahead and close that. That was just a good example to see what caused that problem. Let me just refresh the app. I'm going to click on this again. And uh, this time the Excel spreadsheet isn't locked, so the flow can go ahead and uh, communicate with that Excel spreadsheet. And it is going to randomly pick an entry from there and then bring that information back over here. And that'll be our first random winner. So right over here, you will see that entry. Now in the entry, it has to be something that's unique. Um, in this case, I put an email address that's unique. Maybe you in your form could come up with something which is a, you know, is a numerical value. Because if you remember, the raffle tickets usually are just a, um, a unique number. It could be usually four digits, six digits, or eight digits long. Um, in this case, the unique one has been the email address. So that's basically what I'm calling. So when the time comes to give out the you know the raffle ticket prizes, you just call out the email address and that will um, be the winner. Um, so let me do a few more tests so you can just actually see uh, how it works. Same thing, click the button. The app is talking to Flow. Flow goes ahead and randomly picks a, uh, a winner, sends the information back to Power App, and in this case again, that's the information. Uh, that's the winner. Let me go ahead and click on that a few more times so we can actually see how this is running. That's the next winner, again, ran the uh, button, click to generate, and that's the next winner. So now that we've run this a few times, two things I want to look at. First is, uh, let's go to that spreadsheet again and see if that row has been updated. So let me go to my spreadsheet, which is sitting in OneDrive, refreshed it, and yep, it just got updated. So let's go take a look at that Excel spreadsheet. In this Excel spreadsheet, I'm going to, you see, you can actually already see one over here. But I want to go ahead and filter that because there's one thing that I want to prove it to you guys. And filter it based on yes. And as you can see, the lottery, I mean, the flow does, in fact, pull 
rows randomly. So there is no, you know, set ways why the attendees can kind of work behind the system and come up with a way to actually keep winning. It's just not possible. There is a random pick that goes on. And because as you can see, first time flow goes and picks this random winner from row 79, then it goes ahead and picks a random winner from 168, 186, 196. It is in fact uh, random. And I wanted to show this to you to actually prove that to you. Um, that's one thing over here. Let's go see how that flow actually worked. Um, in the flow, this is the one that I've built to do that random picking. And I do want to call out that uh, uh, major kudos to John Liu to actually help me fix this uh, flow because there was a little section that I ran into where I wasn't able to um, send the information back to uh, Power Apps, but John was able to help me get that figured out. So uh, uh, a big shout out to John on that. Um, so let me, as you can see, these are the ones that we just ran. Uh, the failed one was because that Excel spreadsheet was opened up. Um, you know, it got locked. Once we close the Excel spreadsheet, uh, it ran successfully. So let me walk you through how this important flow works, right? This is the magical one. Um, the flow is kicked off by Power Apps. That's why this is the first trigger action. The second thing I'm doing is I'm creating this uh, variable and it's an array variable. This array is what calls all the rows from the Excel spreadsheet and temporarily holds it over there. Um, and so that's why I'm getting the row and in that row I'm going ahead and saving filtered data. That filtered data is being saved in that same array over here. Now what's happening is um, the filter works in such a way that it is only calling all those uh, rows where the already selected value is not equal to yes. Um, and this is how I'm able to filter out um, all those who have already won something um, specifically for that entry. That entry doesn't get pulled again. Uh, and this is the same concept that's a raffle ticket, right? Because when somebody wins something, you take the raffle ticket, you know, you basically you know, trash it so it doesn't get reused again. Same concept over here. When a row has already been picked, it gets tagged and it doesn't get called again all because of this uh, step over here. Um, the next one is the length. What the length does is it gives me the total count of how many remaining rows are left. And then in that, I use that number, which is the remaining one, and then I add that to the random function. And what the random function or the expression over here is it takes that from zero, which is the top row, all the way to the last row, which is remaining, and it randomly picks a number from there. And then after that random number is, is picked, I go ahead and take the actual values from that random number using this function over here, and I tie that to the Excel row, and then I go ahead and update it you know, with that yes. And then once I also have that Excel row, I just take that email address and I send it back to the uh, the power up away. And that's why you see in the app that the, the email address shows up. So here is basically that big, you know, flow magic that happens behind the scene. Um, that's when, when I hit that, uh, that um, randomly generate a number on the power app, it is kicking off this flow over here. This flow goes ahead and picks the random winner and sends it back to the power app. So as you can see, it is a legitimate a way to go ahead and actually replace um, the raffle tickets, make it automated. And I'm going to have this one available to you guys, um, either on the flow or the Power Apps Committee. Test it, play with it, improve it, and share it with the community. Thanks.